place for you. The Chi Mei Museum. When you come to the Chi Mei Museum, what do you think of it? Uh, Wildly, Little Angel, the Palo Fountain, Olympus Creek, and Animal's Basement. Yes, but there are more. Let's talk more about what's inside the museum. When you enter the museum, you will see a shiny, golden little angel. It adds a lot of color to the white building, and it is compelling. I've heard that the Chimney Museum looks like the violin from the top in the evening from the sky. Yes, the museum is like a violin at night. From the sky, in the first eye view. Wow, this is amazing! Yes, and some violins in there are masterpieces. Some are more than 400 years old. I thought the violin is very common, but after listening to you, I am very curious. Can I borrow one to sit in? Only if you can play classical music. Can you really play the violin? Haha, <laughs> I still need more practice. So maybe not. Don't forget that there are many art exhibit outside of the museum as well. Of course, you can't miss the huge fountain in front of the museum. It is called the Apollo. I knew that! When I visited the museum last time, the water was burning out so hot! Don't think too excited. The Apollo, the sun god, inspired the Apollo fountain. Can you imagine Apollo riding a chariot, jumping out of the sea? He stands in front of the museum to protect the people and the fountain. Wow, you are really not yourself. Okay, how about this? What's the name of the bridge behind the fountain? I know, I know, I know. It is it's the Olympus Bridge. That's right. The bridge is the entrance from the park to the museum. It symbolizes its important geographical location. On both sides of the bridge, gods and goddess them will come in the visitors and protect. At the same time. Okay, we all know that there are many incredible arts, statues, and instruments that we can check out. But what else can we see inside? The first floor has incredible amounts of animal specimen displays. You can observe display of many different types of animals, from elephants, tigers, zebras, polar bears, and more. And the weapons hall is also worthy of visiting. That's true. The museum's arm and armor section is divided into two main galleries. The European Gallery and the non-European Gallery. Visitors can explore and learn many different types of weapons. We sincerely hope that will be no more words in this world. And that all the weapons will only exist in the museum's for exhibition purposes only. After visiting the arts exhibit, you can walk along the mantle to the Rolling Hall. Oh, I know! Isn't there a statue of a contemplative man who has been thinking there all day? Yes, it is. It is one of the most famous works of Rolling. Rolling has had many teachers, peers, and students, and he has really contributed providing a wealth of learning in the modern arts. Wow! For the average person, this studio is a legendary place. It is a wonderful place to see all the wonderful sculpture and masterpieces. Don't forget about the music hall. There are many types of musical instruments displayed from all over the world. If you want to fix yourself visually or enjoy masterpieces, make sure to come visit this wonderful spot, the Chi Mei Museum. It is a good place to visit for the whole.